going lads welcome everybody back to another video so today we'll be reviewing the new 93 rated Leonardo Spinazzola now this dude in real life has actually been balling it out for Italy Italy are actually facing Belgium as we speak like literally about like 10 minutes into the game well, I've kicked off 12 minutes ago so it'll be very interesting he is starting I think he started all games except for Wales um, I think he's actually got like two assists as well to his name he's, he's an absolute baller lads he is Absolutely phenomenal. I believe he was originally a left mid, but in real life moved down to a left back. Now, we did actually manage to pack him and Dumfries in the exact same pack in, a, in, in our 87 times free pack that we saved. So two in one pack is phenomenal. We're going to get a Dumfries review out after, but we are today going to be focusing on Spinozola. Now, he's coming in. I'm actually not sure on his price because, you know, when you get him first on, you don't really uh, pay attention to their price. When I did check, though, he was 150k. Uh, he's probably dropped a little bit. So he's around that 100. 120,000 coin mark. Uh, we, we will be actually using him as a left back. Now, my chat was telling me you should try him as a center back, but we've got Dumfries and we're probably going to be subbing Zambrotta off as well for maybe Tierney. Um, but I'm honestly, I'm not convinced on this card as a center back because he's got medium, medium work rates and I really do want to use the four star, four star as a, as a full back and also the 82 balance, uh, I mean, I'm not too sure, his strength as well, I feel like he's not strong enough for a center back, even with that plus 10 strength, even with that plus 5 aggression, it'll be interesting, we'll try him out as a left back and see how he is, if he's not working as a left back, we'll simply move him to that center back position, we've gone for an anchor just to get that plus 5 acceleration, so he does go to 97 acceleration with 99 sprint speed, putting him to 98 pace. Uh, his passing as well is phenomenal. 98 short passing, 91 long passing. His dribbling, 92 agility is good. Being six foot one and his balance of 82 isn't anything crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's not going to feel amazing on the ball just because of his height. Now, I actually want to have a look at his uh, body type in game. So, according to Footbin, he has got the high and average body type, which is the worst body type to have. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not really convinced. 82 balance, six foot one, high and average body type. We'll just have to see how he is defensively and physical wise. Though he looks absolutely phenomenal, and I mean as for traits as well, he's only got the injury prone trait, which really doesn't mean anything. Without further ado, boys, let's get into the clips, and uh, we're actually going to play foot champs as well. So. Let's see how it goes. Getting into the first match, it wasn't a great team. Um, actually, no, no, the first match was an exceptional team. Our second match was an average team. But this first team we faced, as, as our first game of the day, we're currently 0 0. I mean, it's a very, very solid team. He had that normal Mbappe. Matuidi wasn't great, but he had that Awa. Um, I think he had Kimpembe as well, who was actually really, really good. Yashin as well. I know from experience, he is very challenging to get past. But as you will see in these clips here, um, I believe the first clip is him overlapping. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is we did have him on overlap um overlap i think for attacking it was overlap and join the attack defensive it was just balanced but once he does have he's medium medium as well which i would like to mention is not a con nor is it a pro medium medium is just average custom tactics will always overcome the medium medium as you can see medium medium work rates but once i do have the tactics on him getting overlap um or sorry having him on overlap he does still overlap which is absolutely exceptional um now as you can see he gave that ball to Henri. Henri missed it falls to palais and palais sadly i mean just dragged it wide the, the wrong idea and uh, once again he does give that slide tackle through as well he's brilliant defensively and i'm actually really surprised how good he is physically right um because he's got i think 83 strength start with but we've gone with an anchor to get that extra acceleration boost because he had 99 sprint speed and 92 acceleration which is a very very annoying so you really do want that acceleration boost so he goes to like 97 acceleration with a 99 sprint speed which is absolutely ideal so having him with basically 98 pace 99 acceleration 97 or 98 sprint speed basically having him on 99 pace having him on overlap he is absolutely fantastic attacking wise defensively as well he's phenomenal now one thing i can say is you can't always rely on him defensively because of the medium medium work rates if he was medium high you will be able to rely on him you'd know he'll be back there defensively uh, whereas medium medium he's the same attacking and defensively it's, he's literally just he's there he does his job perfectly and like i said for me personally custom tactics are always clear of work rates so just make sure you do have him on that overlap or stay back depending on what you want with the card now as you can see here right i'm pretty sure we send uh, that's not brad's palais but all we do we wait for him once again spinazola overlap boys this is why you want overlap on as you can see he's making that run forward overlap boom and right here we see Henri. we give that through and it is intercepted right idea wrong execution but like i said that is just the ideal but that, that's the good things with having overlap on right now as you can see listed as a pros it is his pace passing dribbling defending and physical or self-explanatory is also that four star four star now i would like to mention six foot one as a con does go under his high and average body type 
his body type, turning in tight situations, especially if you do play in a high level of foot champs like gold one, elite three, I'll say anywhere between, if you're a gold one up to an elite one, whatever type of player, you will notice he's not in tight positions, right? He will be tough. He'll be very tough to handle it in tight positions because of the 82 balance and the poor body type. But the four star skills does actually help him quite a lot. If you get in a tight position with him, just do a drag from foot to foot and you're fine. So heading over to the overall ratings for performance across two games, it was like I said, it was more like one and a half to two games because I faced one, I played one full game and then I had two games where my opponents quit at 2 0. So it was like a very hard, I'd say probably across, it was around, let's say 140 minutes. It was around one and a half to two games, right? A performance rating for me. Um, he wasn't anything that made me go, oh my god, this card is insane. He's performing better than my Reed and Barpe. And he wasn't like, you know, this card is shit. So for performance rating, we've gone for a nice standard 8. For value rating, we've gone for a 9.5. Because the fact that this card is only 115,000 coins on both the Xbox and PS4 is an absolute bargain. You can play him as a CDM. You can play him as a center mid. You can play him as, wouldn't say a can, but you can play him as a left wing even. A left mid. A right mid. A right wing. You can even play him right back because he's got, or on the right side. Usually with left, uh, left sided players, you can't play him on the right but he's got the four star four star so you can literally play him anywhere even center back i was contemplating putting him center back but we decided to know we'll, we'll use him in, in his normal position um you know save the community a little bit but still lads he would work as a center back fine because he's six foot one with an anchor like i said i still feel like he's a little bit small for a center back maybe um he's got like 93 strength but i don't know it's interesting let me know if you guys do try and center back let me know how he is but he genuinely he pro you could get away with using him at center back no problem uh like i said right back center back left back literally he would be an ideal he'd be a phenomenal center CDM as well. The only thing that is worrying if you do use him as, as a CDM or center mid is going to be his medium medium work rates. Uh, preferably as a box to box you would like high high. Uh, a defensive a CDM you would like medium high. So it is a little bit tough having the medium medium work rates. But other than that, value 9.5 out of 10. I do not know how he's so cheap. Now enjoyment rating. I mean it's it's hard to base enjoyment rating on a, a fullback right because you don't buy a fullback and say I'm going to have so much fun with this card. Uh, I just gave him once again and same as performance, uh, a standard eight. He was, I mean, I guess enjoyable. Whereas my definition of enjoyable as an Arsenal fan, using prime moments on re is enjoyable for me because he, he, you know, he hits at home. So on re, I'd give like a, you know, a nine and a half, a 10 out of, uh, a 10 out of 10 for enjoyment. So this card, it's nothing special. He does a job as a left back. He's not enjoyable. He's not, not enjoyable. So a standard eight. And overall, what, what we do is we add the performance, we add the value and we add the enjoyment ratings up, divide it by three, meaning our overall rating today is an 8.5 for Spinozola. Now, if you guys don't know how these work, if it's a six or above, it is going to be a tick from me. So is Spinozola Summer Stars worth it? I mean, he's got a tick from me, but it's a very, very good card, a cheap alternative. I say a cheap alternative. He's a cheap left back, Serie A, the best Serie A left back probably. Um, but he's very versatile. That's the word I was looking for. Very good card. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It's been your boy Davis, and until next time, lads, I'll see you guys all later. See you later, boys.